never before. Laid up breakfast in bed, you know. Grinding towards our dreams, cause it's places to go. And we got paper to be stacking, we like Office Depot. Hey, hit me now, hey. You and me, girl, we can change the globe. Put your trust in me and I'll show you the ropes. Give me all you got, hey, here you go. That's what I like to hear you, my C note. Out on fine linen, we hang around fine women. Still on time, despite the time difference. She said that my style glisten. If she talking out of my listening, her glamour it is so exquisite. Wanna travel like a pivot? She came in a Honda Civic. Tile streets when she print the engine on the way to my pivot. Lay way back, but ain't no land in the crib, ain't no staying in it. Cause we on the road, anywhere the little goes from the fold. She will ever hold the keys to my soul, man. The gold never fold for the story that the chicken head told. Better keep it jacket on you, cause you know the game is cold. Had to slow it down for you right quick. Okay. Hey, <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to With Audacity, the podcast dedicated to educating, uplifting, and promoting everybody in our community doing everything unapologetically and with audacity. I'm going to say it again because it's the last episode of the season, Woo! doing everything unapologetically Yo. and with audacity. First of all, happy Pride Month. Yes. Second of all, it happy? is... I know, right? Oh. It is Jazzy, the baddie's birthday. <laughs> 29 on the 29. Oh, oh, Golden birthday, golden birthday for Come the on. baddie. For oh. the baddie. Mr. Hey. Mr. Hook. OMG. <laughs> it's your birthday. 29 on the 29. It is tonight. Oh, hello. Oh, man. Celebrate. Oh. Celebrate. Okay. I'm so happy. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. It's my birthday. She's been working on her birthday, baby. <laughs> it's my birthday. Twenty nine on the twenty ninth. Ooh, 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 ooh! Come on, go. The baddie is coming into form. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm just hitting my stride. We're gonna go up on a Tuesday. I'm just hitting my stride. We just getting started, huh? Last year it went up on a Monday. Yes. Crazy. Yes. Crazy. This year it's going up on a Tuesday. Okay. And at twenty nine, I'm. I, she. She. Stepping she into ready. it. She just, ready. You know, people be like, oh my God, I'm just, no, I'm really just like. Getting living. in your prime. Living. 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 I'm good. That goes well with the topic of the episode. Yeah. Of like, lessons learned. Like, hey. what lessons have you learned to make you feel like, I'm doing it right. You know what I'm saying? So many. Yes. Um, honestly, y'all, y'all ain't, I'm checking. Ding, ding, <laughs> tap me. Let's um. get to check in, huh? We gonna get, some, <laughs> get to the lessons in a second. But, you know, right now, I know you're 29. Yeah. You know, you know. So, what advice would you give 19-year-old Jazz? Okay, so. I am the baby of the group. Mm-hmm. Oh, am You are the baby, you know. But, like, currently, you know, just to people that may be 10 years younger, 19. you know, or to your 10-year younger self. You know, just get into college. Oh my right. God. How would you tell them to make the most of this next decade? Um, To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> You the wise one. You the wise one. Let us know. <laughs> oh my God, dude, that's crazy. Um, Think back to nineteen-year-old Jack. I know walking around to Stevie with a little backpack. Like, just I still voted carry a Obama. backpack to work. Let's be clear. <laughs> but um, uh, let's. To be honest, um, it's crazy. To, to be in the space that you probably pray for or to be mm. the adult that you you envisioned yourself to be mm. like you know so just diving on in <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> so like i mean i don't i don't know at 19 you don't know exactly who you're going to be right. but i think you just always pray that you'll love yourself you mm. know so i think that's it so i'm just grateful that it oh, i don't even know if i'm answering the question but what i am going to say is that it at this space, at this age, I'm just grateful that I may not always like the things that I do. I'm going to mess up. I will challenge make some mistakes. <laughs> but yeah. It's okay. Um, I may not always like the things that I do. I may not always like the mistakes that I've made. But what I've learned is that I love myself. And so I'm grateful that at this age that I love who I am. Mm-hmm. So, But what would I tell 19-year-old Jazz? Ooh, Jazz. I would tell her to um, 
keep a good circle around you. Okay. So keep the friends that you have. Mm -hmm. Like, don't, you know, if you lose a few along the way, let yeah. them go. Let them go. Because I did, and that's fine. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, I mean, seriously, the people yeah. who left you, like, bye. Um, and the people who are still around me, like, from forever, oh, my God, what a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's, it's crazy. And I would also tell my 19-year-old self, and any 19-year-old, um, don't be afraid when you mess up the good, the bad, the downright ugly to tell your parents, say, I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, because I remember some moments where I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And you just need to tell your mama and your daddy. And that's okay to do. Um, but at okay. 19, I don't think a lot of people realize that that mm -hmm. is okay because at that point, you kind of think you're grown. You're right. <laughs> but oh, you're well, not. I don't even know about the grown part. I'm still scared. Yeah. You <laughs> just, I'm, but I'm, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah. So. You're never too grown, and your parents are never too far removed for you for you to say, I made I'm a mistake up. and I need help. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, just, I would tell my 19 year old self that's that. That's being grown. That's being a grown up. Mm -hmm. Just saying that I need help no matter what space it is, whether mm -hmm. it's mentally, emotionally, physically yeah you just hungry like say that it's, mama it, it just it's i need you i need yeah or any maybe or not your anybody. mama your daddy yeah. but any older person any mentor anybody just saying i need, I need help yeah and then i would also tell my 19 year old self it's okay to make a mistake mm, because i think you beat yourself up because you go through life and you're just like i can't get it right it's okay if you ain't got it right right now You'll get it right. It's it's okay. Make that mistake and learn from it. <laughs> so that's what I tell my 19-year-old self. And to aspire to get yourself together, know who you are, have your own go to school education, if not education, whatever trade, I don't care. I'm not I whatever you need to do, but do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Get your own, know who you are before you bring anybody else into your space, relationship wise. Okay. That's what I would tell my 19-year-old self too. That's all I got. All right. You sure? That's it. <laughs> you got about five things there. I love it. It's a lot of lessons. But I ain't had no lessons. I don't know. <sighs> I know, right? Right. It really, it really took me. Oh, this is crazy. Da -da -da. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I guess I've learned a lot. I'm just... <laughs> She, no. had to, she had to come off the birthday high and then be like, like, you know, I mean, like, life can be crazy. You said in a decade? What would I tell my shoe? Man, me and 19 year old Jazz will have a talk. Girl, come in. It Ooh. seems like you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dr. Jazz, what would you tell younger Dr. Jazz? <laughs> 19, in New Orleans, going to marriage. Marriage. Yeah, what would you tell her? Calm down. <laughs> Calm oh, down. Geez. Okay? Oh, you do not have to do it all. Oh, uh, what were you doing? <laughs> Why? Um, no, seriously. I would tell my 19-year-old self, you don't have to be grown. I was living on my own. I had a house. Like, I was literally renting a house. I had my own car, paying notes, insurance, like, literally doing it all at 19. Mm -hmm. Working a full-time job, going to school full-time. And then somehow I had, had a pot. Not even. Had a person. A person. Mm -hmm. The person was there also needing yeah, to be he responsible was, for he it. He wasn't like, being a partner. No, no, no. That's mm -hmm. why I like, completely cut that mm -hmm. off. Anyway, uh, yeah, I would tell 19-year-old Jazz, calm down. Live your life, experience, and also y'all save, S-A-V-E, some money. I was oh, making yeah. so much money, y'all, like, in Younger Jazz, because when I said that grind was on, mm -hmm. like, and I didn't save. <laughs> I, was I like, didn't either. You know, living the life. But a decade ago, 19-year-old Jazz would need to chill out and save. Man. Yeah. I think we're, I'm seeing a little bit of a consent. Care what you got? Yeah, what I want to see what, what you're you gonna say. Mm -hmm. I want to see if we all are gonna think the same. Nah, you know, care off the rip. That's I'm off. You know me. Care about to be like, live it up, young Kara. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! You know live it up, young boo. Y'all know I'm just running these streets. <laughs> I constantly. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm, I constantly have conversations with myself, but I don't. I don't really like to look upon the past. Okay, okay. Um, so, so it don't have to be you. Okay. It ain't got to be you. Um, 19 year old. What you gonna tell me? Go on. What will you tell little? I'm gonna post like little young Kara, 19 year old with the backpack, strolling a young along you UAB, yeah, going to track practice. Oh, what would man. you tell her God. a decade ago? What would you tell yourself? Ooh. Ooh, baby, um, baby. I don't know, y'all. I feel like my mother prepared me to be so cutthroat <laughs> that it did. Like I, 
you, you, you know, somebody's at your life, okay. Like, you know, something bad happens, we gonna keep it going. Like, I, I 19-year-old Kara, I think that I was actually doing pretty good. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I felt like I was making decisions for me. Mm. Um, I felt like I was doing a lot, mm-hmm. but I was... Um, so you didn't have nothing that you learned this whole time that you would be like, look, would, self, this is what you're going to learn. I would probably just say network more. Okay, okay. Um, but that's lame. That's, um, that's lame. It that's is. Nice. No, that's, that's not. That's lame. Help people instead of y'all keeping your circle tight. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't. Boo. But not, I mean, yeah, I know. Don't do her. Don't I do know. her. No, she right. I, Jay's had enough for you. It's fine. I know. I did. Right. Because I know. everybody has learned something in these 10 years where you look back and be like, look, Seth, this is what you, this is something. Well, what? Kara's not reflecting on herself. I know. What should I have learned, Jazz? You was there. You were there. <laughs> you were there. You, what should you have t- pulled me aside and said, look, sis, let me talk to you. See? Man, see, she was actually together. Thanks. I Thanks, was Kara. trying. I, Kara is a pretty, I mean, I feel like we were pretty put together individuals. I've always just tried, y'all. <laughs> like, at the, and it, I, it doesn't mean I succeeded in anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, just, I've just, just always tried. tried. I love and it. I think that, that might that might have been what I'm saying. Like, Kara, just keep trying. Okay. You know that's, what I'm see, okay. that's good. Just, uh, hey, like I said, and then when, when, you, when you try... And you know that you put in a good effort and you don't succeed. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt the same. You know what I'm saying? You know you didn't give your all. Yeah. See, that's it right there. I I I like that lesson. Keep trying. Just keep trying, bro. This is any lesson, even right now. You just keep trying. I like that. See, you had one. You didn't even know you had it in you. Look, took it out. Told you. I am not a Maya Angelou. I cannot. (laughs) I I don't have words that are like, oh my gosh. Like, you're not poetic. Yeah. No, I am not. Unless I'm not trying to be. You know what I'm saying? When I sometimes, like, it'll be like, ooh, that was good, Kara. And I'll be like, it's flowing. Yeah. But I am not. She and this thing's spitting. I know. (laughs) Anyway. We, we got some questions, y'all, because y'all so funny, bro. Well, let's actually, before we start the questions, can we shout out our people? Yes, please. Oh, indeed. And, and yes. speaking of UAB, these are my UAB folks. Oh. Like, these are my people I met at UAB. Shout out to Rick Thompson. He did the music. Yes. Y'all heard it. Shout out to Rick. What's Ricky up? Rick. Slick Rick, as we used to call him back Slick in the day. Rick. So cute. I like that. Yes. And then my homeboy, Jay, who actually played football for UAB, commissioned art. We Thank told you, y'all we was coming big season two. I know y'all see that audacity. Okay, audacity. I like that. With the woman in it. Audacity. Flames. So, um, yeah, it. shout out to my UAB folks because we still we still out here trying. We still out here doing <laughs> stuff, man. Don't try. We, we, baby. Baby. we gonna put that on the shirt. Okay, try. Try. Exactly. <laughs> With audacity. That's, Try with audacity. That's what like your mom used to tell you when you was doing something. You know, I don't want to do it. Try to do it. Try. And try. Just try. Yes. Try. That's it right there. Uh, anyway, questions of the episode. We're trying to learn lessons. Lessons learned. What you still learning. All, all that, that type of stuff. Yeah. All that type of stuff. Um, so it's kind of reflective, which y'all know is not my forte. That's why she being so like, ooh. Okay, you want to talk about this. It's a little reflective, but it also might be a little healing. I'm not going to yes, lie. It yes. might be, yeah. I mean, not for me. But <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I'm so tired of you thing. already. Anywho, Kara. Come but on. I think I think this is a great episode topic. Is yeah, I'm seriously. Because sometimes you have to realize where you came from mm-hmm. to realize where you are now and be like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> who am I? Um, so in the course of your life, you know, we're around that 30 age, 30 yes. and 29 now. Boop, boop. Um, oh Lord. Hello, baby. What what have you changed your mind about? Like, what's something substantial that you have been like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that anymore. Or been like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. I am not gonna go first. <laughs> I'm gonna let Dr. Jazz <laughs> go All first right. on this one. Um my lady. I, your lady. Okay, yeah. so as I mentioned when I was nineteen, I needed to chill out. Um, y'all, I was sometimes I actually had two jobs and still working full time. Like doing the most. Like I felt like I was so grind culture. Like I gotta work, I gotta make mm-hmm. this, I gotta, you know, always be busy. Like that has substantially changed. I am doing <laughs> things to remove things off my calendar. I am politely declining. Okay. Okay. With a good heart. 
And that is <laughs> substantially changed because I'm like the yes queen. I'm, just, you, mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell y'all. Karen was I, like, what is she doing? I, I, I wasn't judging her, but I, I also, you were though. I was also like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> like, whoa. You do She's doing most. a lot. And then I was like, Karen, maybe you should try to do a lot. No. And I was no. like, no. 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 Hey, so yeah, I've definitely substantially. I'm proud of you for that, Thank honestly. You. Because that, that took growth for you. Did to, it? Yeah. I do not have to be. Credit. I'm gonna take credit for it. <laughs> Appreciate you, Doctor. <laughs> when you came in and she came in, side note and said that she would taken a nap beforehand. A three hour nap. We were so excited for her, Thank not you. because like she usually would be asleep by now, but just because she actually <laughs> took a nap. Yes, I did. I did. and took and made time for the nap. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, mm, I love it. Gross. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Um, so your, your substantial thing is like the grind culture is not what you're looking Canceled. Okay. Canceled. Changed wow. it. <laughs> not me anymore. Lawyer Jazz, what's something substantial that you said, I'm going to go for it, or you know what, that's not for me anymore. That's not for me. Um, oh, th- I mean, this is a tough one, kind of, because, ah, okay, so <clears throat> if you knew me, like high school, college, or whatever, and probably law school. My whole dream was to work with the. And, and honestly, this could, I could be doing something different. Maybe who knows? But my whole dream was to work in a for a company, doing something straight up environmental. Mm-hmm. And my um, my degree. I am an environmental science major. Have a whole <laughs> science degree. Was in a lab. I used to do experiments. Like that was all me. And then I went to law school. And actually, that does work together because there are a lot of environmental lawyers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I started interning and going to work in that field, I was so bored. Mm. Um, and not because I think I just didn't intern at the right spaces okay. and meet the right people. Um, and so it's not to say that I won't ever want to do that again. But then I actually started. I went from having a science degree and going to law school which is fine but um i went to do straight up criminal law Mm -hmm. so talk about changing your mind and doing something substantial um i just did something completely different than i ever i never if you would have said jasmine you're gonna straight up just do criminal law out like, ne- right. Never right. ever You would have never day. told me I was like no I'm not, not Because me. I literally thought I don't want to deal with people every day I don't want to talk I don't want to hear those things I just know nope, That's just not what I'm going to do And literally now That is what I have dedicated My life and space to Which is crazy mm-hmm. Because I never would have thought This is what I wanted to do mm-hmm. So I mean you know But hey You tell God one plan He'll tell you another So we, <laughs> we will see y'all But yeah yeah, it was completely different. But mm. you're doing a swell job. Hey, I try every day. You're doing amazing, sweet. I be yeah, tired. You're doing amazing, sweet. I be real tired. I feel you. Care? Train boy. Uh, something that was substantial, like a, that I changed. Mm-hmm. I don't think that I made <laughs> the decision. I think that like things just happened, and that's how it worked out. I think that I'm pretty easy to appease, mm-hmm. okay. and therefore I, I've just been like okay with the motion of the yeah. motion. like oh, I with ha- the flow. Yeah, I've just been kind of like, you know, that sounds good. That doesn't sound good, and so I don't think I've had to make any like, you know, like besides like breaking up with somebody and stuff. But it's kind of like that wasn't substantial. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't nobody. So you <laughs> have? Have you had any like made any <laughs> change your mind? At- your mind about anything like regarding relationships or like what you're gonna do in a relationship nope i've made i've made conscious decisions to like not put effort to stuff anymore like Mm. i've had like be like you know what you're not you're no longer gonna put effort towards this because Mm -hmm. if it if it's gonna work out then it's gonna work out or if it's gonna work out that person has to do more there we go because i was doing way too much Mm. And so then, mm-hmm. it, and then it turned like we don't talk anymore, and like that's fine, like you know, because I had I had constantly made that decision. But once again, I don't think it was substantial. I think it was just because they ain't nobody. <laughs> 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 I love it here. I love it here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
I think I think that's I, and, and that's people and like things you know in life I guess where it's just like I don't think I should put energy towards that anymore mm. and then you know I don't <laughs> and I like that so mm. good that's, that's substantial for me yeah but I don't, what I'm saying is I don't think that it would have been like life altering like mm-hmm. how yours is like you know yours is probably going to bring you a lot more release and mm-hmm. you know you're de-stressing and yours literally changes the directory <laughs> of your and I think mine was just kind of like you know what we're going to be alright that no but, longer serves me yeah exactly mm-hmm. I, that, and I well you know what I, I'll take this lie back out I did tell <laughs> Kayla that I'm no longer taking on other people's stress mm-hmm. and a lot of, uh, and you know, if you want to vent, vent to me and I'm going to receive it and, you know, all that type of stuff. But as far as, like, other people's negativity, if I feel your negativity, I'm removing myself. Mm. And that's something substantial I have done in the probably, like, the last six months. And it comes off as me being spicy. It comes off as me being... <laughs> it does. <laughs> the hot tamale. Yeah, it comes off of me, you, like, it being like, well, you know, what's wrong with Kara? She must be in a bad attitude. And it's like, no, honey, you're in a bad attitude. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm yeah. going to go. Mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. That's substantial. And I'm okay sure. with being spicy. I think that's all. I, I, I'm okay with being spicy. Everybody need a little cayenne. Yay! Not a little cayenne. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bye. Anyway, you got some more questions for us, Jazz. <laughs> um, so what are some <laughs> y'all? This guy here got me. <laughs> um, I, you know, I I can see how you can say it comes out me being spicy, but I feel that when you like, I'm not gonna take on your negativity because at that point you just like. I don't care. Mm, exactly. I feel that. And the I don't care comes off as you being mm-hmm. spicy, mm-hmm. but it's truly like you know what though that I've already given out. Everything I could. Mm-hmm. So like, even even you being spicy towards me, I don't. I still don't care. <laughs> Good day. Good day. <laughs> I just yeah. Okay. Good day. Um. So what are some like thoughts or beliefs that y'all hold um, about like living a successful or fulfilling life? And it could be about like this could be personally, um, love, relationship, career. You know. Y'all looking at me? <laughs> yeah. You are because I know you're over there like. Dip, 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 dip. Well, I just stopped talking. So. <laughs> well, y'all know I did take that nap, right? Mm. Oh my god! Rest, baby. Ooh. Rest. That is a key belief that I'm holding dearly. Mm-hmm. That we need to rest. We need to replenish ourselves. I need to fill my cup up before mm. I can keep pouring out. So does that okay. mean just taking nap, or like, are you meditating now? Are you like trying to eat? My, mindfully taking walks. Oh, I'm, mm. I'm taking a break, <laughs> closing the computer in the middle of the day, baby. Yes. In the middle, not I ain't gonna go sun up to sundown, just sitting here grinding it out. I've literally changed where I, I need to schedule a break. Mm. I will schedule a, a lunch and learn for myself where I actually just eat and read, you know, mm. like digest some okay. some good stuff. Um, I actually, if you look at my hand, I literally say lunch and learn, and it will be two hours because I'm lunching and I'm learning. Um, <laughs> just so you know, uh, and I got that power. I love that I'm like. Holding on to like also celebrating life. Like mm. it's your birthday. You know, I'm just bucked up like everybody. <laughs> deserves to be celebrated. <laughs> every every moment, every accomplishment, and just to be here another day. Mm. Like I've been holding on to that as a belief. Like we need to rest and we need to celebrate. Ooh, Ooh. I love the celebrations. I'm Girl. all you know, like New Orleans baby. I, oh. In our blood. Yes, I love a good celebration. That's what we should have been today. Um <clears throat> The invitation is always going open. up on a Tuesday. I know. <sighs> okay. okay. We are. We seriously. <laughs> Back okay. to work. Back to um, <laughs> So, <laughs> some some key beliefs I hold about living a, I hold beliefs and then I hold practices that I've had to like okay. start doing to keep myself like at a. Grounded. Like, yeah, to keep myself in and make me, like, I won't be successful if I'm not grounded. Mm. Um, And so, I believe like you have to. I believe, like like you said, like, I believe in rest. I believe in celebrating those moments. I also believe that you have to, like, de-stress and, like, you have to do the work yourself. So I believe in mm. doing the work to keep myself at peace. I believe in doing the work to keep myself happy. Mm. Um, I can't depend on anybody else to do it. So, like, mm-hmm. I, so, like, some practices that I do, um, this is a little bit kind of, like, 
going off the question, but like it's it's a belief and it's a practice. So like when I leave work, like sometimes I go straight to the gym. Mm-hmm. Usually like two to three times a week because my job is so high stress. Um and so that is one practice that I have. At night I usually like I've started reading a devotional and that is because my brain needs to shut down and mm-hmm. focus on shift somewhere else from the day. Because mm-hmm. if not, I'll be up just like dee 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 mm-hmm. and that's just not that's good. just not good. Um I typically don't work. A practice is not to work at at home because if not, I'm not going to be peaceful. And I believe that a key belief of mine is living a peaceful life. So I can't, if I'm not doing those practices, then that belief just goes out the window. So it it just kind of works. And then, I don't know, like relationship-wise, I've learned like, my belief is just to love that person for exactly who they are and then y'all do the work together. Mm -hmm. So, like, that has just helped us out tremendously. And I think when you get to that point, then you good. You love me for who I am. I love you for who you are. I'm not trying to change. We can change. Yeah, you grow. But I'm not saying you need to be somebody different because I met you for, I love, I met you and I like that person. So, yeah, Mm -hmm. you know. But I think when you do those things, like, you will have a happy life. You just got to, sometimes you got to do the work. Like she said, close the computer so you can mm-hmm. live that peaceful life. So, mm-hmm. I believe in peace and de-stress yourself and just, like, if something don't serve you, let it go. There we go. Let it go. You know how we said, like, Kara was going to be different? <laughs> yeah, we go. Come on, Kara. What you got? There was so, like, make it zen. Burn some incense. Put some music on. Like, and I love it. I do. The candle. And I and I do See? all of it. I, I, I don't really do practices, but I, I believe yeah. in all of it. My, my key belief is one monkey don't stop, no show. Yes. Wow. Cut them out. One off. monkey don't stop no show. Basically, if the you, train you, is you, rolling, you, get out the train. Turn us back up, Care. That's right. It got two Z in up in here. <laughs> Care, like, let me turn this up. <laughs> get off the tracks because I'm coming. Like, okay. eat, like basically, like, I'm not going to be limited. Period. Take it back to Shannon in episode two. No defeat. No oh, defeat. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bring us back. Yeah. Shout out to Shannon. Have y'all been listening? Um, <laughs> have you been working out? Have you been keeping get balanced? Ooh. Trivia. Okay. Ooh. I love it. Okay. All right. But yeah, that's my, that's my key belief. It's like one monkey don't stop no show. And I don't care who that is. Like family, friends, co-workers, mm. whomever. Like, and I, and I think that because, like you said, once you learn who you are and you really like who you are. Remember who you are. Season one, episode one. There we go. <laughs> We bringing it all the way back. Oh my god! This is the last episode. I guess we should we do recap. We need a recap. We'll do that in a second. Um, but yeah, like knowing that, like I, I make my decisions and mm-hmm. I'm justified in my decisions. Boom! Yes. I one bucket ain't gonna stop no show. Like stop, stop questioning me. I've already questioned myself. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> That's okay. I, I did this. Yeah, I already did this. I've already thought it through. And because right. of that, like this is the plan that I'm on. Like, period. Period. One monkey don't stop no show. At all. The show must go on. Hard work, man. The show busy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, mm-mm. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm out here doing what I want to do. And sometimes I don't want to do nothing. And sometimes I want to do a lot. But either way, the show is going on, baby. Yeah. Life's camera action. I love it. I love it. I had to wake y'all up. <laughs> you did. We was too zen. We Baby. were too zen. But I like I, love it, I like to be zen sometimes. I, I love it. And sometimes I don't. Some, sometimes you don't. Like turn today, because it's my birthday. Turn up on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, 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 alright. Alright, y'all. So this is uh I'm it's still on the same track, you know. Um Silent Final Question. We keeping it short and brief for y'all, you know, we wrapping it up. Um I wanna see if there's any questions that you have that you want to ask Kara. Okay. 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 Um, I want to see if there's any recent realizations you've had about living a rewarding life. I feel like, I know I said about my grind culture, you know, I'm, I'm no longer, that no longer serves me to serve others <laughs> continuously and pour from an empty cup, um, realizing like rest and celebration, but also relationships, not like necessarily like boyfriend, girlfriend type relationships, but like friend relationships, like family, like those are so important mm-hmm. to me. And at the end of the day, a job is not going to be there to hold your hand mm-hmm. when oh, the world's going, people. <laughs> when, the, when the world <laughs> is shut down and, you know, like literally outside is closed. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I've recently learned that relationships are everything. Like 
my mama. Like, she was there for me, you know, as a, a mother growing up. But now I feel like this relationship that I've built with her, like, I'm there for her. Like, oh, we talk in the morning on the way to work, I, counting down to her retirement, thank the Lord. Uh, and I'm there for her to listen, to yes. her event, to even give her encouragement. Because at the end, I'm like, all right, you said your piece. And we're going to go in there, and we're going to do what we got to do. And we ain't going to let them phase us, you know? Right. Yep. That's so right. I've, I've really recently learned that relationships are, like, something that's going to keep me going. Something that yeah. is needed for a fulfilling life. Because mm. a check <laughs> comes on, and Courtney. goes, okay? Anyway. Okay, yeah. little Ari Lennox. Come on. <laughs> right. Come I on. need people. I need people. <laughs> I love Ari. I know, oh, right? Be yeah. my friend. Um. Yeah. You you need to go. Go ahead. Do I don't know. I mean, I I don't know. I do feel like that the relationships will keep. I mean, just I I I don't know. I agree with that. Yeah. I I can't disagree at all. I think because you get so caught up in the day to day and work, blah blah blah, this blah blah that. But shoot, I feel like you need people. You need. You need, like I said, you need people. You you need to lean on people sometimes. You just those relationships. What do you? I mean, because what are you gonna do without them? So I I have to agree with that. Um, also about living a rewarding life. Shoot, it's okay to want different. It's yes. okay to find something that makes you happy. It's okay to to take that leap. If I mean, if it, if that's what's gonna make you happy, and if that's what's gonna take you to greater, then. Yeah. Do it, and I think yeah. that that's what's gonna fulfill you, and that's what's gonna make you happy. So I think that's the key. Don't be scared. Take that leap, and and I also another key to living a rewarding life is get you a therapist and find you somebody to talk to. Mm-hmm. I think that's another key to a rewarding life. Professionally, mental health. Yes. So yep, mm-hmm. that's all I got. I think that my my recent. Um, realization is that it's okay to be spicy. Like, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. See, once again, y'all, I'm so sorry. Bow. Get it in there. Bam. One, two. Okay. One, two. Cayenne. Um, <laughs> it's okay for me to be spicy because I've said this on, I think, the self love episodes. Yeah, that's right. We're taking it back again. Um, we about to do a recap in a second. Go okay. ahead. The self love that I am most of the time the person that someone talks to, mm-hmm. and I'm like the, the, the venti, like someone's venting and I'm the one that's listening or like I'm the confidant of a lot of people, which is fine. That's, I mean, that's how I prefer it. You know what I'm saying? But it also makes it so I sometimes don't have somebody to be like, hey, by the way, I had a bad day. And so I think that it's okay for me to be like, nope, I'm not going to listen to that right now because I've had a bad day mm-hmm. and that this this plate is full. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so and that's you know okay. What I'm like Mm-mm, I can't take any ne- more negativity because that right there did the cake and that's all I need for this Tuesday night. Um and so like me being like, you know what? Um I think that I'm going to pause you for a second mm-hmm. and then like let you work it out and then like we'll resume later. Yeah, and we'll resume and later. And that's okay. I think that's my recent realization. It's just like it's okay. Yeah, like and it, because it, because now the spiciness in me is mm-hmm. wanting to be like that's not that's not really it doesn't really matter. Like why are you, why are you telling me this? It doesn't really matter. Not on my time. Yeah, yeah. and that's and that mm-hmm. comes off as just plain rude. Right. So you can't I'm, eat everything. I'm to glad that you are like playful. Yeah. Over there. Yeah, because you know, because then if not, like, and I, I think that the most important thing is like I realized that like I'm on the line of being rude, and it's mm-hmm. like I don't want to be rude, but it's kind of like Tupac said, like, don't push me. <laughs> like I'm not a fella, but don't push me. Oh, and So like, I yeah, like, hey. My little plate is full, and I'm, I like I said, and I'm okay with not telling people my plate, but you know, and so like I'll just be like, hey, I can't, you know, not right now, not right now, whatever, yeah, or I'll just leave, I'll just, <laughs> and then you know, won't give no explanations, and yeah, then, you know, yeah. yeah. So I think that's that's my recent one is mm-hmm. being like, cause I don't, yeah, but that's good. Your I'm problem, your it. problem isn't significant to me. Yeah. <laughs> Because they don't really matter. Oh, yeah, true. but that's that's just too cutthroat, even for me. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay to be spicy. Since this is the last episode of the season of the season, of the season, um, which is crazy, season y'all. Two, baby. Thank y'all for rocking with us right. two whole seasons. That's crazy. 
Um, but what was y'all's favorite episode of season two? Whoa. Can you like what it, let me let me recap them right quick. All right, we started with tolerance. All right. Ooh. Tolerance. That was a deep, deep one. We just said about our sister Shannon, you know, yes. fitness with audacity. Hey, cousin Shannon. Okay. Then we did like a part two of that working with audacity. We did careers. Yeah. Okay. With audacity. Oh, y'all. We did the loving with audacity. Aww. That was so cute. Okay. All right. Okay. All right we Shout did that. Out to 49, 41K. Right. Ooh, yeah. Right. Ooh. They were so cute with y'all in the little library. Oh, <laughs> that was so cute. I missed y'all. I'm so sad. It's okay. Um, cashing out, Kayla. Okay. Kyla. Kyla. I always yes. say, I'm so sorry, Kyla. No, no, no. Love you, Kyla. Um, cashing out, we did that. Then we did a healing, you know, Ooh, grief self care with Dr. Me. Me. That was, that was, that was, that was a there. good one. That was a good that one now, right? There. Okay. It was like a self care part two. Um, we did friendship with our destiny, oh, with the yeah, friends. That was, that okay. was such a good that was sweet. Um, we just did black hair with Ooh. audacity. Uh, and this one, life lessons. Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. It's so hard to choose, right? Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm just... Okay. Dr. Jazz, go ahead since you want to Career. Go Whoa. Career. All right, it's ready. Career with audacity because I feel like at first we were talking about like working with audacity, how to work, whatever. But then we just like how to build like career-wise. Yeah. So Actually, what was your lesson that you learned from that that episode? Or did you learn a lesson? Mm. Actually, I feel like we missing one. I missed one. I think so, too, because I was doing this. Yeah, wait. <laughs> I missed the growing. Wait, that yes. was mine. I was saying, I that was my favorite. I'm so sorry. Because, I'm. I, I, yeah, I missed I it. Literally was it was like, too many. I missed, I missed and I one. I stopped. Uh, that was, yeah, that was right between. Yeah, Baba Malik. Baba Malik. So growing was your favorite? Growing with Audacity was absolutely my favorite. Yeah. Aspirations. That was my mentor, you know. So, so did you did you like you're, you're constantly learning from Bob and Malik, but did right. you learn anything from growing? Yeah. Um he learned me something. I'm trying to remember when I was like, oh my god, I didn't know that Bob and Malik. Uh not a, now that I can't remember in reflection wise, but no. Um I definitely learned something. And we had so many good um guests you know, this season. Yes. Little library performances yes. and like also like people just being like, you know what? That was really like mm-hmm. a good episode. We tried to switch it up this season. Yeah. <laughs> and did get like different guests, different, you know, Background. artists, different it was just oh my god. This the I, I feel like season two was a a slight glow up. Like oh, okay. we had so many guest hosts and like people just I don't know. I Yeah. I'm just I'm very grateful. I'm always grateful. That's all I can say. Yes. Kara, what was your favorite episode? Um, I liked Tolerance just because I think it was a topic that mm-hmm. needed to be said. Okay. Yeah. Um, but but also, so that's my, I guess that's my education one. If I had to do just um, like an uplift one, I think friendship. That was your yeah. Yeah. I think we just, even though we were apart, I felt y'all's vibe in the room when we did friendship. And so like that, that definitely was probably, yeah. Yeah, That's sweet. yeah. What you got, Jess? Okay, y'all know it's so hard for me. It's so yeah, hard. I love all of them. <laughs> I like them. I usually like every episode. So after every episode, y'all, we turn the camera <laughs> off or whatever. She's like, ah, "That's, That's my new favorite. favorite." Yeah, that was such a good episode. That's my new favorite episode. <laughs> this is. I mean, I don't know. That means audacity is just okay. It's your jam. Okay, so this season, oh, dang. Okay. So I loved the episode with Dr. Mimi. Yes. Um, yes. yes. First of all, she was funny. Yes. Like I've known Mimi forever, but because she's not around as much, I forget that she's funny. Right. <laughs> Mimi could have been at this table every single episode. Yes. I'm like, with it. So, 17. Yes. yes. So you forget that you're talking. Like she's a. I mean, she's a. She's a psychiatrist and everything. And so we're having this. A, a, it was a deep conversation, but she also is just like. One of your friends sitting at the table. Right, right. Um, and I she, definitely felt like I knew her. Yes. And, and so I, she makes you her. feel comfortable about talking about, you know, something so serious and something mm-hmm. so important as mental health. Right. Um, and that's something that I feel like can be so taboo in the black mm-hmm. community. Mm-hmm. Something that we don't like to discuss. Something that people can also become very, very uncomfortable with talking about. Um, and so because she makes you feel comfortable and because she's, you know, just like can make you feel like it's okay, let's talk about it. Right. You know, <laughs> you should do this, you should do that. Get you a journal, do this, do that. That was one of my favorite episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I hope that everybody felt, took took something away from that and also right. know 
knew from that episode that it's okay sometimes if you just need to stick your hand out and say, I may need a little help. Right. Um, so that was one of my favorite ones. Then I love the loving one. Mm-hmm. 2941 K, they were so fun. Yes. Um, I also love the tolerance one because if there was ever a conversation that needed to be had at any point, like all the time, I felt like that was absolutely necessary. And I feel like we are a podcast that stands on having necessary conversations. Absolutely, for sure. Um, so and there were so many lessons that yes. could have been learned. Yeah, and it from was any of from them. anybody. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it was that was a, a conversation. It wasn't to offend anybody. It was definitely to educate. I awareness. learned some things. Yeah. It was all about awareness. Um, just but, just necessary. I mean, I, like literally, if we went from one to ten, you could pull out a lesson that we learned. Yeah, and yeah. we're creating it. That's what, like, I'm, saying. what I'm saying. So that's a, it's it's always hard for me because I sit down and I leave and I'm like, dang, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel full. Yeah, and that's what we're hoping for you guys, which is yeah. why, like, sometimes, like, I when we did the growing episode, like, a couple of our friends were like, "Yeah, we went five minutes in." We're like, "Man, I don't know, growing." Like, I, I've never really thought mm-hmm. about that. And then they were like, and then twenty five minutes later, I was like, "Oh my god, Whoa. Yes. I needed yeah. this." Yes, exactly. Yeah. And so that's that's you know that's what we do this for. Yeah, we do this for y'all, for the people, for the people. Omg. Okay, this is a good time to take a break. We're gonna take a musical break. Mm -hmm. Listen to Rick Thompson, and we will be right back, you guys. Okay, guys, we are back. It's time for Kara's favorite part of the show. The last lesson of the season. The last lesson of the season. I hope y'all are soaking it in, man. So, I don't know if you knew this, Jazz, but on your birthday, (gasps) your birthday, June 29th, um, Stokely Carmichael was born. He was born in the Port of Spain in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. And then um, he was a significant fighter in the 1960s. Civil rights movement, yes. Pan African movement, you know. He had some time at SNCC, okay, which was Skiggy. the <clears throat> Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, you know, you know. and then he moved on to the Black Panther Party yes. and was the honorary Prime Minister. And then he actually became the leader of the All African People's Revolutionary Party. So, oh, I mean, greatness, girl. Whew. Yeah, like share that, your birthday. That was on your born day, Stokely mm-hmm. Carmichael. When you listen to Stokely Carmichael, you get goosebumps. revved up. I'm I ready. Mean, I'm full. You, I'm ready to go you fight. Get, so Black liberation. Exactly. Period. Thank you to our ancestors. Oh. And today in Black history. Today yeah. in Black history. The baddie was born. Yes. <laughs> today in Black <laughs> history. Jazz C. Lawyer Jazz. Oh, Lawyer Check Jazz. Out. Was Check born. out. 29 right years ago. Four score. 29 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> OMG. Four score. What? That's, that's too many years. That's saying, way too many years. I think it's just four score and four years, actually. Oh, okay. I think four score is 25 years. It's four, is that, okay. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We, you 29, what? though. We know. The four score always threw everybody off. <laughs> yeah. I think it's 25. It might not be. Who knows? They're going to be listening to this podcast just shaking their head. Don't nobody know. They're going to be like, eh, eh. Don't, don't, don't nobody know. Educating, eh. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So we want y'all always I'm to continue the conversation, yes. you know. Yes. Um, we like to drop a couple resources. Yes. So mine, you know, I'm going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, currently I am reading Collective Courage, okay? And this is a history of African-American cooperative Economic thought and practice now. Not just thinking about it, but doing it. And this is by the lovely, the brilliant Dr. Jessica Gordon Nimhart. Okay. So I know earlier I was saying no to the grind culture. No to the I'm overdoing it. Um, because we need to do it together. We're stronger together, y'all. When I think about cooperative economics, I think about how we can just 
<laughs> literally uproot this whole capitalist society. Mm. Like I refuse to respond to emails within the same day if it's not from my organization. Like on, I am please. literally like, nah, little that ain't it. Little Carl Michael. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. Re, re, learn something. Do you have a resource? I do. My resource, keeping it zen. Yes. And just about, you know, like I say, keeping your, your peace, lesson learned, you know, to, to get that peaceful life that you want. You got to sometimes have some practices about it. So mine has just been to to read a daily devotional every day. Okay. Um, and so recently one of, one that I have been reading is by Joyce Meyer. Oh, yeah. Maybe Mayer. I may be saying her name wrong. So sorry. Um, but this, <laughs> this is a beautiful is book. Meyer. Um, yeah. <laughs> is healing the soul of a woman. I've been reading this devotional. Um, so I just picked it up at Books a Million, but I mean, hey, it's amazing. Um, and it'll be on the book list. Yes, right? it'll be on the book list. Um, healing the soul of a woman. <laughs> um, I read it every day, every night, really. That's when I kind of like to woosa Aww. and relax my mind. There so that's go. my resource, y'all. Well, and I encourage nice. you guys to do the same. My resources okay. keep trying. Keep trying. That's it. Keep on keeping on. That, that might be on a shirt for season three. Keep trying. You'll with see. audacity, though. With yeah. audacity. Yes, keep trying with audacity. Boom. The, the, how dare you go from undergrad and get a PhD? How? How dare you? How dare you? Kara, who is our charity? <laughs> We're going to wrap it up. What is our charity is, for this month? It's look, the look. end of June, and so you already know the charity is the B store at Cleveland Avenue YMCA. Yes. Shout out to the director, Dura Wood. I okay. know him very okay. well. Okay. And everybody else who's out there just doing amazing yes. work with the YMCA. Um, and it's I a beautiful mean, space. It's a beautiful space, it guys. Is. They're, li- I mean, they, they, ha- and they've been in, they, they have been in that community for such a long mm-hmm. time. And I know, I think I said this, but. Their last 20000 to build the Y was given by the Montgomery Improvement Association. And the president of the <coughs> MIA Let was know. Dr. Martin Luther King they at bet. that time. So The historical. Literally. And then Rosa Parks lived up the street. Yes, so, I, am. I mean, it's, it's, it's historic for a reason. Yeah. And so, um, thank you. And like I said, all get the merch. Merch, 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 merch. Yes, and the discount support. code is Audacity. Okay. Yeah. So. And if you just want to just, you know, donate to them, you can. When Shut I up. worked at the YMCA, you can, like, give part of your check to help a kid go mm-hmm. to a summer camp. Mm-hmm. You can give and, your time. Yeah. At that time, it was, like, $50 because they're already, like, rationed out. So you can, um, you know, get, get some money to make sure the kids are are learning this summer. Yeah. Power Scholars. Y'all look up. They have a wonderful Power Scholars team to make sure that the kids are retaining whatever mm-hmm. they learned in school. And um, for that summer slide, yes, it's, it. it's, it's, it's wonderful, it's yeah. a wonderful spot, yeah. I um, love the wine. and then, of course, we got to plug ourselves, yes, plug Audacity is still trying, you know, we with Audacity, trying. we will be trying. All summer long, we're yes. gonna keep trying, we're gonna keep trying, we're gonna keep trying, we're gonna keep trying. We outside, and I just want y'all to know this was the end of season two. Oh my oh, god, that's absolutely crazy. Which that's is, wild. we have to thank you guys. Yes. Um, the amount of streams, the amount of merch sales, the amount of followers, the amount yes. of love and support. And we love getting y'all's pictures, it's, which yes. is crazy. So, it's we so just want to say thank you thank all. Y'all. Thank you guys for two seasons rocking with us. Um, rocking so yeah, us. and we are coming back. For season three in the fall, yeah, um, we have like I said, every season we say we coming back bigger and better. You know, so it. season three we really coming back bigger <laughs> and better. Um, just wait on it. Just okay. wait. We have so many surprises in store. I'm gonna be quiet, um, but just know it's... I might be a baddie by then, y'all. Oh, she's gonna start out a baddie because she has to. <laughs> so. Yeah, I season three. It. I'm I'm just so excited. I'm excited too. But I'm ready for this break. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay. We need I'm, some rest. I need some rest. Yes. Need some Ka- rest. Shout out to all the work that Kara. Oh. Oh, uh, y'all do too. I yeah. Mean. But <laughs> seriously, keeping us going. Yeah. Keeping us trying. I'm ready for this thank, break. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. Y'all know I love y'all deep. <laughs> you know, okay, all love, right. Love y'all a long way. We two seasons in, and we still dreamily love each other, right? Y'all. Not most friendships could do that. <laughs> 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 most friendships can't do that. Like.
like and so yeah i'm very thankful we've learned a lot of lessons we doing have. this and we've learned what works mm -hmm. and it works and we're two seasons in we coming back for a third season we start off season three i'm so excited for when we start season three y'all just don't understand oh we that's why i said oh we're gonna be all bad when we start season three after that it's back to the regular but i'm just so <laughs> excited y'all gonna be like what are y'all about to do just wait Ooh. just wait on get y'all merch <sighs> yes and then live with all that please listen to our playlist Look up our book list. Yes. You know, there's so much that y'all can do in Support the Support our artists. Oh my God. Tune into the lives this summer. Yes. Rick Thompson and Jay. Jay, Jay Queso. Y'all check him out on Instagram. J A Y K A S O. Yeah. Okay. And just make sure you turn on your notifications because we will still be doing some lives and some other things this yeah. summer. So y'all stay on y'all toes. Audacity ain't going anywhere. We outside now. Oh, yeah. Yes, All right. So make sure you follow us at With Audacity across the board. Email us if you need to at with audacity at gmail.com. Um, shop our curated book list. Yes. Um, it's not going anywhere. You guys asked and we delivered. Yeah. Um, if you want to collaborate with us for season three um, this Artists. summer for a live, anything like that, email us, slide in our DMs, all of that. So, yeah. Sliding out the end. Slide. And review season one and season okay. two before season three, baby, because yes. we coming back. Yes. Back. yes. yes. We coming Tell back. your friends. Oh, see, y'all can binge us now. We got multiple episodes. Oh, binge us. Y'all can binge Ooh, I like us. that. You really like my voice like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you put a sexy voice on for that? No, I did not. All right. I must say, I, I like your voice, Karen. Well, well, thank, thank you. <laughs> We're going to get off this thing. Y'all oh. can, can see we really enjoy doing this because yes. we're just like. Still talking. Does it have to end? <sighs> Season yeah, two. This is the end of season two. So many lessons learned, you guys. But follow me at you oh, yeah. love with a three underscore jazz. Check out the baddie. I'm at Flips Fro. Okay. And I'm Magnolia S O U L J A underscore. Magnolia Soldier. The yeah. Nola Shorty. Baby, yeah. let me tell you just right now. I still want this rap. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. From season. It's a, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> Y'all remember. Okay, for season three, we got to get it. Please. We, we might. We All right, y'all. You don't even have to freestyle. You can be with the paper like they used to be. <laughs> like they used to be. Like Drake when he used to be on his Blackberry. We can't get it. <laughs> that he lost Can you same. start off season three with it? I'm going to think about it. Maybe. I might bring something to y'all. Maybe Jazz, Jazz the Baddie. I mean, Jazz, Jazzy Baby will be our future artist. <laughs> They so we starting off season three featured artist Jazzy Baby. Oh Lord, the pressure's on. Uh, thank you to all our artists. Yes. Though. Thank you to all our artists from all seasons, all seasons, especially this season. Y'all, we started with commission art, we ended with commission art. Man. No way. Bam, bam. Now, thanks to all of our singers, our rappers, our beats. All of that I'm musicianship, just DJ, for, DJ for the noise. Thank you to Montgomery know. Advertiser for the oh feature, Gumptown oh Mag. God. Oh, I feel like we we so, gonna so stop. Much. We oh. just we're done. That's it. It's a wrap. And thank you to the charities, y'all. The yes. charities they even been posting us. They're yes. like articles ben like whatever Chima come center okay oh, y'all thank y'all we appreciate y'all okay we really about to get off here y'all right, right, thank right, you right. is <laughs> what we just wanted to say thank you guys we will see y'all for season three yes. binge watch season one and two and we out this thing man peace love and soul <laughs> bye baby I don't get no daps or pounds, handshakes hold the weight. My money never late, I'm rolling like the roller skate. Know them suckers gon' hate us in they blood anyway. Guess we call it DNA, hit my phone at the eight so we can run our next play. Eight, Renetta McGee, Kara Speed, time race against the clock. The cops after me, is it because my hat and jacket matches? And these women at my feet, Max, Julie, you know I'm on the scene. Everyone's listening and watching you now. Oh my God. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs>